Now, back with us is our resident vet, Alex Melrose. Alex, good morning. Good morning. Now, we're talking bunnies today, and I thought yep. you were going to bring a pet rabbit in for me. I know, I've let you down. You have. I can tell you're disappointed. I'm not angry, I'm no. just disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, they're, they're fragile. They're fragile. Rabbits are fragile, and we've got to think about that as vets as well. We've got to be very careful with anaesthetics with them. And, and the, the bunny's owner was just a bit worried about, to, you know, it being too overwhelming. Okay, you know. I do understand that. That's fair enough. Thank you. That's a Thank reasonable you. excuse not to have yeah. the rabbit. I thought you were yeah. going to pull it out of a hat or something. Mm. So Later. Fair enough. So let's talk about rabbits and health yeah. issues that they face. Yeah. So, you know, they're, they're surprisingly good pets, especially with today's society where we're sort of all living in smaller and smaller places mm. and high-density housing. If you haven't got tons of room, they're a really good option. Um, there's a few things you've got to get right, and uh, the, the most common thing that we deal with is teeth. Okay, now rabbits' teeth keep growing. They grow like a couple of mil a day. So really, yeah, every day, da, 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 like that. So literally, if they, if they weren't grinding on things, they, they hook right around. They can grow right into their own jaws and cause okay. a lot of problems. Get abscesses. Right. So, so how do you stop that from happening? Well, we get the nutrition right. Make sure that they've got a high fibre, low mineral diet, and um, then use people like myself and, and other vets to help. If the teeth start getting away, and then we actually have to anaesthetise them and we have special instruments to cut the teeth back and to shape them. Do you give bunnies carrots? You can. I mean, you better dandelions are actually better for them if you what? want. You don't yeah. give rabbit carrots? Not, not a lot. You're breaking all these myths for me. I know, I know. So, well, yeah, I should have talked to you before you had your rabbit. Yeah, you should have. It should've. might have made a bigger difference. It might have made a difference for chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Was that the rabbit's name, chocolate? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, chocolate was very old when we got chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate was lovely. Yeah. We had chocolate for a very brief time. So, so nutrition, um, I'll change the subject quickly. Yeah, chocolate was very, very old. We yeah, got we're going to get, it's getting quite yeah. sad, isn't it? Yeah. But I yeah so I'm nutrition, um, teeth, and respiratory bugs are the big mm -hmm. things for rabbits. So we'll see a lot of chest infections. We'll see, um, sometimes they get um, pasturella infections in the sinuses, and you'll see a bit of discharge coming from the eyes and the nose. Um, is that a serious thing when they get the sort of gammy eyes? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It starts out watery and then it actually ends up like a white paste mm -hmm. that starts coming out. It's very thick and they, they get these little lumpy abscesses on their face and it, it is very hard to treat. Yeah. So that's something to watch out for. Um, what other things did you want to know about rabbits? N their nails. Their yeah. little, little, because they can get very sharp claw, yeah, very claws sharp. or nails. Yeah, well, either. You could say either. Mm. I mean, nails, I guess, if you're humanising them a bit more. Yeah. And, and hey, a lot of rabbits. And we are. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of rabbits live inside, no hutch, just a little kind of penned off area, dominate the house. I've got clients that, um, you know, the, the rabbit literally dominates the cats and the dogs in the house. So do you clip their nails? Yeah, yeah. Because you, you can train them. You can toilet train rabbits, yeah. can't you? Use a litter tray. Yeah. You and can you teach them to do that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's quite surprising once you start getting into it how, how good a pet they make. Yeah. Okay. You might have convinced me on the rabbits. And they live to be we'll about five to, five to seven years? Yeah, yeah. A couple, some of them you'll see up to ten years, but yeah, it's okay. a pretty good age. Well, nice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for that. Let's check out our pet of the week. There are always so many cool pets out there. It's hard to choose, but we love this the best. Best friends, Vinny is a Ridgeback cross adopted from the Thames SPCA with his little mate Marley, who was also rescued. So congratulations, Megan Hawkins. Mata Mata, you've got a canine natural $50 voucher. It is on its way to you. Hey, thank you so much for coming in today, Alex. Always a pleasure, and we'll see you in next week. Yeah, you are.